Hi everyone, welcome to HTR. In this video, we will see what are the new updates available in Android 14, which was released in nothing phone 2. It's still in a beta version. It is Android 14 and this is nothing 2. And this is nothing 1 which runs on Android 13. This is nothing phone 1. Let's see what are the differentiation. And also I just wanted to point out this particular update to nothing phone 2. That is nothing OS 2.5 has both the updates that is from Android 14 features. And also there are some significant features from nothing company both the upgrades you will get in this update if you go to home settings you will see one add addition this is not relating to android 14 but this is an update from nothing so if you click this you can hide some of the icons which you don't see in app dryer if you could see here it should display Amazon app to get access you just need to swipe left to right and you would see those hidden icons this is sometimes a little bit cumbersome because if you have enabled uh, gesture navigation instead of three button sometimes you get to have a habit of like this and which the screen goes back so you have to swipe it from the middle of the screen you get these icons and going further and also if you could see the widgets layout is also has been changed now this has been grouped and there is one widget which i wanted to talk about is this one contacts widget if you could see meanwhile uh, i have updated some of the icons here you could see i have just updated these icons on the home screen so that for comparison it will be easy now you if you could see this contact icon has calling and sms of, of icons on the diagonal side in android 14 and after nothing os 2.5 update this has become inside of it and also you would see the name appears here and there is no name in this uh, nothing phone one and apart from that you see the some gradient tint red color tint has been added in the contact widget this is uh, one of the difference uh, which you would observe when you go to widgets and go to contacts go to contact here you can see earlier this is the version and now this is the version now they try to accommodate everything inside of it and they also made from circle to square contact and rest of the things if you could see this they have made it a little bit smaller here it looks bigger what they are trying to do is they are trying to clean up making some spaces around and also there is one small change if you have observed on my home screen a very small change but it is very effective if you could see this timer it is blinking here just like a clock the seconds are running mm -hmm. and also if you go further when i'm in this app drawer screen when i say left you see it the arrow mark is dotted arrow and here it is a straight line uh, these are small small changes but uh, nothing maintains its own signature of a dotted design i'll do it again when you say back it is a dotted arrow and here it's a straight line arrow not only that when you increase and decrease the brightness here you would see there is no dot and it's a complete straight line here and here there is a dot it's uh, there is a dot here to move here and there this is also a very little bit but not significant for daily use and another difference when you click the power button and to shut down here there are 
three options in Android 13 and here there is one more option that is logged on just to lock the device. So this is one more thing added from Android 13 to Android 14 update. Another major update from nothing is that when I lock, when the, my screen is locked, I can add this type of a photo widget on the screen. I can add it by going to lock screen. lock screen widgets lock screen widget here there is an option to add a photo widget let's go to the previous version there is no widgets to add in the lock screen for uh, the previous version and to move further if you go to systems and then gestures you would see there is a significant change that is uh, screenshot gesture. Now you can take a screenshot using three fingers. So that is something like this. And not only that, if you want to take particular part of the screen, you what you can do is you press it gently and wait for some time. And now you can select the part of the screen which you want to take a screenshot instead of the full screenshot also when you take full screenshot like this here you would see some arrow when you press it you can take the entire the scrollable area you can take it as a screenshot or here also you can choose what are the things you need you can also change from the you can adjust the height till where you need the screenshot and if you could see it is um, highlighting till where you can take the screenshot this these are the three variations which you would see in three finger one is partial screenshot full screenshot and the entire scrollable option and later you can save it as we are talking about screenshot when you take a screenshot by default when you say edit it is going to take the na uh, nothing uh, editable editing screen rather than for uh, google photos editing if i go to the previous one when i take a screenshot when i say edit it is using google's own editor not the nothing os editor but if you still want this one what you need to do is you need to to libraries and take a screenshot now you can edit the same thing it is one step away but nothing is trying to implement their own feature instead of using their own uh, android stock android uh, features and one more significant change to this power button is when you double press i can open the camera but it has been increased the some more features when i click on this uh, power button now i can choose a particular app now it is not opening the camera but i have assigned to google pay let's see how that works when you go to settings, say double press power button. Now you can assign any app, not only the camera. Earlier it is used to be only the camera. If I say camera, When I press double press and I have only one option to quickly open the camera. Now I have a lot of bunch of options. I can open a camera, glyph timer, torch and you can literally choose any other app which you wanted to assign to this power button. I think this has been intentionally done after it has an upgrade from uh, iPhone 14 to iPhone 15 they have removed the silent button and now in iPhone 15 you can assign any app to that uh, particular button when you long press. This is something similar to that I 
think nothing has done it deliberately this particular features and there is a major update if you go to customization the entire layout has been changed to get this layout earlier what we had to do is you have to click wallpaper and style then you would get this here also now you can add shortcuts from this screen itself earlier what we have to do is to add that shortcut then you have to go to uh, lock screen shortcuts then you would get to access this you had to take one more steps in the older version now you can do the same thing from here itself and also if you could click on this more you get to see all these details as it in the previous version and there is one more significant change in the colors now if you go to the older version There are only three to four colors are were available. Now we have more colors, wallpaper colors you can adjust. And if you go to basic colors, also there is a huge bunch of colors you available for customization. And also here the name says change wallpaper and here it says more wallpaper. I don't know why nothing has removed this extra uh, wallpapers, but in the newer version you can only get to see the nothing wallpapers uh, i am don't have any clue why did they did that if you guys know anything regarding this please let me know in the comments and if i go to nothing widgets uh, section nothing more wallpaper section i could see there are some couple of more uh, things they have been added here you could see the complete square uh, wallpapers preview and here it is rectangular it which uh, i mean say uh, which looks like how it will show after applying to a phone so this is one significant thing has been added if i go with the wallpapers count this is same this is same this is same this is same this is also same this is also same and this is also same there are no change in the wallpaper but they have mentioned we have introduced uh, uh, some new wallpaper but if i go here i could see the same count here but i don't see the other wallpapers to be applied so which only means that nothing is trying to bring it down to their nothing specific phone rather than using stock android they are moving slowly slowly from stock android to nothing uh, specific and also i don't see this wallpaper scrolling anywhere in the settings i don't know where where it is uh, but seems they have removed these things from this update and there is one more thing which you would see in the ui these are circular uh, design and now they are moving from circular to square design and i feel uh, these are the main main differences which i have observed i might miss some of the uh, features and updates uh, if you have observed any new things please let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching please like share and subscribe we'll catch you in the next video